You can fetch data in a Next.js client component with a server action, but should you? Hello and welcome, I'm Dave. Today we'll look at why I don't currently recommend fetching data with server actions in Next.js and some good alternatives. And I'll provide links to all resources in the description below. I'll also provide a link for you to join my Discord server where you can discuss web development with other students and you can ask questions that I can answer and receive help from other viewers too. I look forward to seeing you there. Last week, I published a subscriber question and answer video, and one of the questions was about server actions. I answered and highlighted that the docs recommend server actions for form submissions and data mutations. That said, some comments on the video also pointed out that you could fetch data with server actions. I had heard of this, but it seems to go against the definition of server actions in the docs, so I hadn't explored it further at that time but this week I decided to check out all the details. I've got a simple Next.js application here and it uses Shad CN tabs and it displays three different ways you can fetch data and provide it to a client component. You can see the first one is a server fetch. So if I reload the page, suspense kicks in, gives a loading message for three seconds because I built in a delay and then it displays a username. Now, if I go to the API route, instead of fetching that data on the server immediately and then passing it down to the client component like we have in this first example, it's going to load the client component. Suspense kicks in because I have a fallback and then it's going to request data from an API route, a route handler in Next.js. It's going to get that user data and then display it. And I also have a clear cache button that you can clear the cache and then of course, it's going to need to fetch that data once again when you come back to this component here in this tab. Now the server action is very similar to the API route, but instead of fetching data from the API route, it's going to call a server action in the client component and get that data. So let's click on that. You can see suspense once again kicks in, then it will display a username as well. So after that, it works much like the API route does. But should we be using a server action to fetch data? That's not really discussed in the Next.js documentation or the SWR documentation. And I don't think it's in the React query documentation either, which you could also use instead of uh, the use SWR hook. However, it does work. So let's look at how it works. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. You may be surprised to learn that three out of every four viewers, nearly 75% of all people who watch my channel aren't subscribed. So I just wanted to take a quick second and remind you to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And if you really like my videos, you can get exclusive content and support my channel even more by joining my Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Gray. Thanks for your consideration. And now back to the video. I'm in VS Code and I've got my actions.ts file open and you can see this simple server action that I've created called get user action. And it's bringing in a get user function that actually requests that data. And that's the same function that I used in example one that requested data on the server and then passed it down to the client component. So the server fetch example. However, this server action example uses a server action function now it requests user data inside of that server action and it simply returns it. So let's look at the component that uses the server action and you can see it's a client component. I'm bringing in the use SWR hook here at the top. Then I import the server action as well. I also have that clear cache button that will clear the cache for SWR if you want to. And after that, it requests data using the use SWR hook and we pass in that server action and I gave it a key for the cache, a cache key with the same name called get user action. So that's basically it. After that, it gets the data and displays it. And this does work. So should we follow this pattern? I know some definitely want to. If we look at the second example that I had, it's almost the same with the use SWR hook except it uses a fetcher function and it requests data from the API route. Now this is well documented and it's what I lean towards because of that documentation 
And really, it doesn't seem to, the documentation doesn't seem to recommend using a server action to fetch data at this time. Back in the browser, we can inspect the network request that the server action sends. So I'm going to click on that and I'll scroll here. We don't have a lot of room to check it out in my current setup, but the request method is post and the server action always uses the post method. So that can also feel a little strange requesting data, essentially getting data. We would usually use a get method and that's what the API route choice would use. But this uses a post method for the server action. Other than that, SWR is going to ignore some of the cache control headers, but a browser would honor these. And this also is a little bit different because a cache control here is no store, meaning you shouldn't be storing this data if you're honoring the cache control header. However, SWR does indeed cache this data. So when we navigate back and forth, if I click API route, it's not waiting and displaying that suspense again. It's immediately showing the name. It's stale while revalidate. So it shows the stale data and it revalidates in the background. I click the server action, the same thing. So you can tell it is indeed cached. So what do you think about this? Are you comfortable without much documentation, uh, actually no documentation at this point, or fetching data with a server action? Do you feel okay about requesting data with a post method and ignoring the cache control headers? For now, I'm going to use the first two examples in my applications, either fetch data on the server, or I'm going to use a route handler until there is some more documentation, because as we know with Next.js, this could all change next week. How do you feel about all this? Let me know in the comments. Hey guys, giving a quick shout out to my patrons. Holy Coder is a progress provider and Eldad is a member at the senior level. Also, thank you to all of the junior members. You're all helping me reach my goals. And if you haven't checked out my Patreon, it's got exclusive content and early release content. And it's not one of those Patreons that doesn't get many posts. I'm active on there every week, so please check it out if you haven't. Remember to keep striving for progress over perfection. And a little progress every day will go a very long way. Please give this video a like if it's helped you. And thank you for watching and subscribing. You're helping my channel grow. Have a great day, and let's write more code together very soon.